Hi there, I'm Teresa Farney, the food editor at the Gazette in Colorado Springs. And today I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful guacamole salad. Uh, but actually, there is um, something in here that helps with green color and is much lower in fat. So the secret ingredient is peas, frozen peas. We're going to substitute uh, almost a half, at least half, of the total ingredients for this dish with peas, which will tremendously lower the calorie count. Again, I'm going to rely on my old friend here, the Vitamix. It just really is going to whir this up and make a nice smooth mixture. So we start off with about a cup and a half of peas, and I've got some minced garlic there. There's a little bit of water added to this to help uh, smooth the mixture so it'll uh, blend up nicely. Then, instead of using uh, two avocados, like most recipes would call for for, uh, for guacamole, I'm going to use a half of an avocado, and I've got a uh, juice of a lime added in there. And notice you don't need to chop that up because the power of this machine is going to whir it uh, to smithereens. Then to get some spice, I am going to uh, add a whole jalapeno. Now, whenever you um, are working with a jalapeno spray, it's usually a good idea to wear gloves because you'll get that oil on your hands. If you touch your eye, it can definitely burn. And the part that makes the uh, jalapeno hot and, and burn are the seeds and the white membrane that's in the center here. So I just have a small spoon. I cut the um, jalapeno in half, obviously, and then I scoop out the seeds, and that gets thrown away. That's where all of the uh, spices. Now, if you are accustomed to real spicy food, not a problem. Leave them in if you like that. But for most people, uh, a whole jalapeno with the seeds is pretty powerful. Okay, then we're going to add a uh, about a teaspoon of uh, cumin, ground cumin. And then we have one-third cup non-fat sour cream. And this, again, is going to add some nice mouthfeel uh, to the uh, dish and um, make it smooth and have a, a little bit of that luxurious fat without the fat. So to make this, um, to run the Vitamix, you need to first turn it on, let it start whirring, and then you increase the speed. Have the Vitamix running. Whenever it kind of locks down like that, there is a stamper that you can use to, you just stick this right down in there and you can pound it, make sure everything gets mixed. And it's in, designed in such a way that it doesn't actually hit the blades, but um, it um, helps get the food down in, into the blades. And it increases speed. I cover this up because it, uh, it um, kind of pops up. So you just want to get that nice and smooth and oh, it smells delicious. Then whenever you have it mixed the way you would like it, you can um, place it back in a bowl. Then we're going to fold in a few ingredients. See how nice and smooth that is? It's really nice and green and um, it pretty much stays that way. You have to kind of noodle this out like so to get that, get all of the goody stuff out, at least most of it. So whenever you're ready to clean the Vitamix, it's so it's such a remarkable, easy thing to do. You fill this with about half full with warm water, put one drop of liquid detergent put the lid back on, turn it on, and it washes this whole thing. Then all you have to do is rinse it and it's good to go. So now back to our guacamole here. We're gonna fold in some uh, diced tomatoes. And it, uh, in the winter, before, before our garden tomatoes come out, I like to get Roma tomatoes. They have a better color to them. And then we have some chopped onions. Now we add this because we want some texture to the um, mixture here. And one of the first times I had this uh, was in Los Angeles. It was back in the 60s. 
and uh, there was a chef there that was getting ready to open a restaurant called uh, Spago's, and the chef was Wolfgang Puck. And I was at a writer's meeting, and Wolfgang was there, and he served this dish, and he called it mock guac, because it's not instead of using all avocado, it's using more peas and lowering the fat.